Yo guys, Jack here, bringing you another Choose Your Own Jack. This is the series where you guys pick a loadout for me and I go to work in game. One of the top voted comments from last week's video was by Sunset7900 and he suggested a James Bond class playing as Recon, M5K, ACOG, Suppressor and M9 Suppressor. So, I thought why not play this on one of the close quarters maps seeing as uh, that's where you get this weapon and I just got knifed and this is a recurring theme in this video you're gonna see that a lot so watch out for that um, this is obviously a PDW it's a very close range weapon and the fact that I've got the suppressor on there means that I can't take extended mags so I'm pretty much gonna be limited to killing one to three people before having to reload or switch to my pistol uh, but it's okay closer maps you can get away with that sort of thing you can get because uh, you can hide, do a quick reload, and then pop out, and you're fine. Um, so let's talk about stats for the weapon, and I'll try and explain to you guys what I think about it, and um, is it actually any good? So the maximum damage of the M5K is 25, and that means that you can kill someone in four uh, upper torso body shots. Uh, the minimum damage is 13.75, it's a stat that I really don't pay atten attention to that much. Uh, it's got a 20 round base magazine, 21 if you've got a bullet in the chamber when you reload. 900 rounds per minute, so it fires extremely quickly, meaning that you absolutely shoot through those 20 bullets in no time. Uh, a 2.2 second reload if you've got a bullet in the chamber, and get this, a 3 second reload if you haven't. Three seconds is an absolute monster of a reload time, especially when you consider the fact that you've only got 20 bullets before you have to reload. So that really doesn't make sense to me. I would have thought, you know, if if DICE are trying to make this a close quarters um, rapid firing killing machine uh, with such a, a small magazine, you might as well make it have a short reload as well, but it just doesn't have that. Uh, I'm running the suppressor because that's what you guys asked me to run, meaning I can't take extended mags. And you do really need extended mags to make this gun in any way useful. When you take extended mags, it goes up to 30, okay? So that's a bit more acceptable, and it means that you can probably take out one, maybe two more people. But when you compare it to, say, like the MP7 or the P90, um, it just can't hold a light to them I mean uh, the M5K just isn't very good I'd always rather take like the ump uh, or the MP7 over this thing because it just doesn't have much going for it in terms of stats it's got terrible aim down the sight accuracy meaning that my only way to really effectively use this gun or in my opinion is to just run around like a mentalist um, hip firing um, and as you can see, I'm going up against guys that are using M16s and F2000s and AEKs, and I'm beating them. And the only reason I'm beating them is because of my movement and my unpredictability. They are obviously aiming down the sight a lot more than me, which makes their character movement slower. Whereas I'm just sort of running around like a mentalist and hip firing because I've got the laser sight on, I've got this ridiculous rate of fire, and it's working out for me. So. You can use a weapon like this to beat out the um, the guys with the M16s and the AEKs. You just want to make sure that you're not engaging them at any sort of range because if you go there, you're always going to lose out. If they're a good player, they're pretty much always going to beat you. Just check your Skype, guys, because I think you got a message. Yeah, someone's de someone definitely wants you on Skype right now. You should just check it while well, I just kill that guy. No? No one there? Oh, okay, that was weird. I wonder why it's playing Skype noises like that. Anyways, um, one thing that this gun has got going for it is that it's very easy to control the recoil. Uh, so that works in the favour of hit firing. You can pretty much just hold down the trigger, do a little dance and guarantee yourself a few kills. But all in all, this, uh, this weapon is it's pretty useless and I couldn't recommend it to anyone on any of the maps other than the close quarters maps. You see here, I was on a bit of low health and I think, you know, I'm going to camp up for a bit. Uh, I put the tugs down so I can see where people are coming from and I actually get a cheating accusation. So I saw that guy on the mini map and oh, I just pre-fired him and he just comes out and, and says it in a second. You're going to see what he says. I always seem to get accused of cheating. Every every match I play, no matter what weapons I'm using, cheer. There we go. Jack playing with cheats. Smiley face. Um, okay. So obviously that guy doesn't know what tugs is. 
So here, this guy is just like a dog on heat, trying to get the dog tags. I don't know what he's doing. I'm out of ammo, so I don't want to reload my M5K in case he comes. He does come back when I decide to move. Okay, Sarah. And he's chasing me now. Um, so I just wait up down here. I see another guy on the minimap. There's a third guy there. Quick reload. And of course I'm using the M9 Suppress, which isn't bad. He, as you noticed, had the uh, the knife out. So he was going for the tags as well. Which was um, enjoyable to take him out. And uh, yeah, it, like I said, I can't recommend this on any other maps, but the close quarters maps. Maybe it would work out for you on um, Operation Metro or Send Crossing if you're darting in and out of the building, something with like extreme close range. But the only real way to make this weapon work is to take extended mags and a laser sight. Um, anything else just doesn't. You're gonna have a bad time, guys. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go out there and say that this gun just isn't very good, and it's just bettered by so many other PDWs. Uh, of course, you can use this weapon on any class. You can use it as an assault guy, as a support guy, whatever. But I would always take the MP7 or the UMP, like I said earlier. They're just they're just better. And don't take a suppressor on it either because you lose extended mags and it also nerfs your aim down the sight accuracy. And that's a problem because it's got terrible aim down the sight accuracy anyways. Uh, so yeah, just going to work on some more guys. And if you're going to use this setup, make sure that you're wastering all over the place. And you're, you're going to be pretty hard to hit. Uh, anyways, uh, the game finished. I only played, uh, I think it was three matches on Conquest Domination. I did a game on Scrap Metal, um, a game on Donny Fortress, and then Zebra Tower. And I got a pretty good score every time, but they're always about the same score, like 60-20, which is like a three-kill death ratio. And I'm sure that if I was using uh, maybe the MP7, which has more shots, or say the UMP, which does more damage... I would have been better off. Uh, so, yeah. M5K. It's a cool weapon. And it looks cool. But doesn't have much going for it, guys. If you've got a suggestion for a loadout next week. Please leave it in the comments below. Um, I'll pick from some of the top comments. And go to work. You can also pick the game mode if you want. So, I'm sort of forced to play a certain game mode. But um, make it um, as interesting as you want, guys. There we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, give me a rating if you did. Subscribe if you like this sort of thing. And I'll see you in the next one.